science certainly describes the world of nature. Theology can offer interpretations. What is the cultural meaning of that science? <laughs> A TV NUP desembarcou no Congresso Internacional de História da Ciência e Tecnologia, na UFRJ. Nós entrevistamos vários pesquisadores que estão entre os principais nomes na área de História da Ciência e Religião. Você confere agora uma das entrevistas que fizemos. There is a, a very intuitive idea that science naturally provokes uh, secularization. So first, how do you define secularization and what do you think about this assumption? One of the real problems here is when you ask me what do I understand by secularization, I am immediately aware that it's a theoretical concept yeah. that many people have interpreted in different ways. It can simply mean, for some people, um, the gradual loss of power of religious institutions It can mean the way in which the functions of the churches, for example, are taken over by civic institutions. Um, but for some people, it simply means um, a, a gradual process whereby religious beliefs are lost. There was a time when, if you were... Uh, a natural philosopher in the 17th century, for example, you would have, I think, thought of your work, as Isaac Newton did, as, as trying to discover the laws of nature. And laws imply a lawgiver. So it, even the practice of natural philosophy was, I think, in the 17th century, not always, but very often conducted within that theological framework. By the end of the 19th century, it would be very rare to find that kind of explicit understanding of science as, shall we say, a religious duty or a religious practice. So you can speak, I think, quite correctly of the secularization of science over a long period from 16th, 17th century, right through to the end of the, of the 19th century. If we just focus for a moment on the loss of religious belief, which a lot of commentators assume means loss of belief in the supernatural, you can then see a possible and direct link between scientific progress and an increasingly secular view of the world. Most serious theological traditions, with scholars reflecting on the philosophy of religion, have not seen a simple conflict between nature and supernature. They've seen ways of understanding the natural world which get, give due weight to natural causality but at the same time see those natural causes as sustained by a divine power. Theology interprets the world of nature. Science certainly describes the world of nature. Theology can offer interpretations. What is the cultural meaning of that science? So th theology can have that role. It, it isn't automatically excluded just because science keeps making new discoveries. And I think that is a mistake some atheists make when they seem to argue that Once you've got a, an explanation, as long as you can show that there is a natural explanation for that event, then somehow you have demolished a prop for theology. And, and I don't really buy that argument. I think it doesn't do justice to the, the complexity of the, the relations 
as they have been forged historically.